Hello Aries, welcome to another WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This would be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to the um, person that you're dealing with and in general with regards to your love connection. All right. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Um, if you need information with regards to my private readings, the um, tarot decks that I'm using, as well as if ever I would extend this video, the links and all the other information will be in the description box below. So go ahead and check them out. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and do your reading. What do we have for you for um, this week in love? This is for Aries and Moon Rising and Venus in love. Aries, you have the Palace of Cups, the Hangman. We have the Chariot, the person you're dealing with. Um, they have the Page of Coins and the um, Four of Swords. So know that the energies go, could go vice versa. So take it however that resonates in your case, all right? We have the Strength, um, High Priestess, Knight of Swords, Five of Swords, Four of Coins, Six of Swords, Eight of Cups, Judgment, Emperor, the Queen of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Coins. I feel that either you or the person that you're dealing with um, could very well be wanting to have balance back in this connection. For you, Aries, I am I'm strongly getting that um, you're trying to analyze how you feel right now with regards to this connection. You're trying to see how you feel and you're trying to understand how the other persons feel about this connection as well. There is a challenge though for you in um, moving things forward. It, it feels like the engine is available but there's just not a better way to ignite it. That's how the energy that I'm feeling right now, for at least for you. For the person that you're dealing with, they may be closed off right now at, from your perspective. They may not be as communicative, but nevertheless, they are wanting to have this new beginning. Or they're wanting to work towards um, possibly reaching out to you and talking things out, at least to you know start things off. But as of the moment, too, they are resting. They are thinking th things through on how to make this approach. Okay, and they see you as someone who could be healing, who could be trying to gain back um, more inner strength to face your day-to-day -day life. Um, they're seeing you as someone who knows exactly how to deal with life, regardless of um, the challenges that you are facing. So they see you as someone who is strong. Yeah. Possibly you're also not um, very communicative to this person right now. This could possibly be a quiet connection, at least for, for this week, all right? And um, I'm also getting that um, this person is wanting to reach out to you and tell you directly what they want out of this connection, whether it be for their own benefit or whether they want to push their ego in or they, um, they just want to be, you know, to win an argument, I feel that this person is wanting to do just that, you know, to reach out and speak their their thought, what they think about for today, or at least for this week. Also, just bear in mind that um, in that um, communication, if ever this person comes in, there could be, for some of you, an element of mind games there. There could be some form of um, manipulation when they reach out and talk about things. So just be mindful of that, all right? But for some of you, I'm also getting that um, they have already felt defeated from this connection and therefore they're wanting to come forward to speak their truth, to have another plea, perhaps, yeah? Um, this person is hopeful to be able to... Um, resolve things with you. Whatever mess that has happened in the past, they are hopeful that you can bring, you can both bring this connection into a, a rather more peaceful state, that you are no longer um, fighting, there's no more mind games, and um, they're also hoping that um, you can transition this connection from 
if there's been a um, argument or breakup from that point. Hello, Aries, I'm back. Sorry, my battery's just, the batteries of my camera just died. I have to change it. All right, so where are we? Here, okay. So um, this person that you're dealing with actually is, is kind of holding on um, to this connection. And um, I do feel that um, they also have started to realize the value or what um, what are the aspects in this connection that they truly want okay and more so I'm getting here that they want to move past all this um, the commotion or the issues that you've had and um, they just want to bring um, this connection into a place where you could have that peace of uh, mind where you could be friendly you could be um, like in talking terms, you know, friendly talking terms, so to speak. Yeah. But I feel that they still value this connection. Yeah. Um, okay. For this week, um, Aries, you would feel that this person has walked away from from the connection or emotionally withdrawn. You may not feel that they are vulnerable or they are emotionally open towards you. Yeah. You could feel that because in their action space, they are actually pulling out. Like um, as of the moment, they are wanting to pull out and um, possibly they feel that that is the best thing to do for now until... I feel that this is a moving energy right here where somebody will pull out and um, have that uh, space where they can think things through and soon enough they'll get that clarity, they'll get that um, final judgment of what they truly want in this connection and how they want to move things forward, yeah? Because in the outcome energy, you see what I'm getting here, Aries, it's you. We have here the Queen of Wands. It's the energy of, um, it's a very fiery energy of being assertive, of um, knowing what you want and have that confidence of um, getting it or working towards it. And coupled with the Emperor, I feel that structure will be rebuilt, structure will be put back for this connection. Structure, control, and um, stability as well as expansion and if it is done with um, confidence and with passion it's gonna come true it's gonna happen so this is the outcome here but as of the moment as you can see it's pretty much a quiet energy and more of moving on um, trying to um, delve or spend time thinking getting a different perspective about things, um, gaining strength, at the same time even emotionally withdrawing and um, having some realizations. So this is a um, transitional phase, I should say. For the people that are re resonating with this reading, I feel that you are in a transitional phase from a rather, you know, you may have some arguments or a fallout in this connection and now you are coming in with this um, transition energy and moving towards um, a space where you can be more confident in manifesting or doing what you want to do in this connection or where you want to bring this connection moving forward. And definitely so, balance is something that is essential here. This transitional phase is essential to gain back balance. All this you're actually doing, you and the person that you're dealing with, in order to bring back balance, at least for you, on your individual self as well as to the connection all right so Aries let me um, get uh, more uh, messages any messages from the person that you're dealing with what do they want you to know I feel too much pressure right now and um, hence you know if a pre if a person is um, feeling pressured feeling um, as though you know feeling pressured can um, become emotionally draining and I feel that perhaps at this point in time this person feels that they are drained emotionally 
and it's the right thing to do right now is to just move away for a while. I'm sorry I couldn't follow through with my promises. It's mostly because for this time around they feel that they need to move away and um, what's yet to come is something that they are not aware of but you are aware of it because of this reading. You know that um, structure, um, control, um, confidence in this connection will be restored. It's a likely outcome. Yeah? I miss the feel of you next to me. You see? If someone is withdrawing and then they think, they tell you that they still miss you, definitely there's a comeback to it. If that is something that you want, Aries. I'm just saying. Okay? Um, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I was thinking of extending this reading, but I do have a flight to catch later, so I'm going to wrap this up. And um, if this resonates in your situation, let me know in the comment section below how it did, yeah? And um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe as well as click on the notification bell. Um, and this, if this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.